you're fired. You can't eat it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily and this weekend I am just all alone. I'm hanging out, it's just me and these dogs. Yeah. They're pretty cool. <laughs> my husband Ross went out of town to go visit some family so now I'm just kind of left to my own devices at home. I don't really do well alone. I would much rather be around people but also I don't like going out and seeing people. I don't understand it either. And so this weekend so far I've just had to get creative to keep myself busy. I started in Lego City by adding some trees. I added them and I think it's like a simple design but it's kind of cute and let me know what you think about these in the comments because I'm planning on making a few more and um oh hi maybe add it into this area because I feel like it gives it the effect of being like tinier than it actually is because this area behind me isn't huge but I want it to feel huge like I want it to have the impact that it's like a gigantic natural area with a river it'll be really cool and then kind of a continuation on my last video I did sort out a bunch of these little minifigure accessories which is so helpful because these were just like literally in buckets like this and I was like why are they there there's a lot of pieces that I still don't really know what to do with but at least I have a start to a lot of them and then something else that did take a lot of my time actually was just staring at this Eiffel Tower and making no progress on it. One day I will finish off the top, but for now should I just put like construction workers? I'm thinking about doing that actually. I also fiddled around a lot with the start of this waterfall. It's looking really good. Ross was working on this last week and I just like playing with it. I just think the little clouds are really fun and also there's a lot of ducks. Quack, quack. Other things include starting on this Lego friend set. It's pretty cute, right? Like look at the stairs there, adorable. And then I've been wanting to start building this one here, but stay tuned for a live stream soon. I also sent some emails, planned out my life a little bit better and had some really good leftover pad thai. Not a lot's going on here. Meanwhile, this one keeps wanting to eat Lego. You can't eat it. And even though I've just been having an existential crisis the last few days, being alone with my thoughts, there are two, possibly three, really exciting things about to happen. I'm gonna start with the less exciting one. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of giveaways this coming Wednesday on Whatnot, so like come hang out. I'm about to go to Target to buy like a bunch of CMFs and poly bags. And honestly, a lot of what I'm buying for the giveaways really depends on what Target has in stock at the moment. So we'll just have to wait and see and that'll kind of be a surprise for all of us. But then something else really exciting, you guys. I know I said I wasn't gonna spend money on Lego anymore. I know I wasn't gonna. But I did, and there's one set that I've been after for months now, months, years, decades, not really decades. I've only been into it for four years. We have the dogs here. This one's Ladybird. This one's Stevie, and they're best friends. Besties! Nah. And I found a seller and whatnot that can get it to me for a really, really good deal. And it's in the mail, it's on the way here, and I'm freaking out, because this is like, it's a good set. It's a Lego set that I never thought I'd be able to get my hands on, like seriously. Didn't even consider it. But with my husband being a huge Lego Star Wars collector, and I'm gonna lump myself in with that, because why not? This is just a white whale set. I feel like I might have given the surprise away, but if you think you know what it is, leave me a comment down below. Anyways, I think it's time to head to Target. All right, y'all, we just got to Target. I hope they have, oh gosh, it's windy. I hope they have a lot of stuff, like smaller stuff, because I like giving away just a bunch of stuff, rather than just one or two bigger sets. I also just hope they have anything in general, because I have no idea. I was feeling really hungry before this, so I had a chocolate chip cookie thinking that would help. It didn't help. Ooh, Target. I probably need one of these. We're almost at the Lego. And they actually look pretty stocked, so this is super exciting. Okay, so I see a ton of bigger sets so far. Lots of Star Wars, surprisingly. They have so many of these, holy cow. I was really hoping to find a bunch of CMFs, but all I see are like dots and bracelets like that for smaller sets. I could maybe do a battle pack. It's 20, so I couldn't give away as much stuff, but then there are these. These are 40, but I do really like giving those away. They also have a dots patch. I don't think that's too exciting. And then some Ninjago sets, like really they're cleaned out of anything tiny here. Oh wait, this could be kind of fun, like the little stunts dude. Besides this thing here though, I don't see any CMFs or anything tiny. Sometimes they I do keep them in other places so i'm just gonna like wander and see what happens like sometimes they'll stick them here and then other times they'll be right at the front of the store and then there's not really too much in terms of smaller sets in the disney area okay here we go i found nine of these cmf bags and that's 45 dollars i think this one's ten dollars so i'm thinking about putting this back and getting something different and then this one here's five 50 ish more to spend and i think i'm gonna find two like moderately sized sets because i think that's just more fun oh wait did i have bluey i'm still looking for a blue plush and I can't find them anywhere. Have y'all seen these before? So they're like smelly pillows, but like smelly in a good way. 
I mean, this one doesn't smell. It's supposed to smell like honey cake. I don't, I don't smell honey cake. I don't think it works. Okay, now we're heading back over to Lego. I think I'm leaning towards Star Wars because like, who doesn't like Star Wars, right? Some of these sets are really good. I could always just confuse people and just buy this to give away. Okay, I think I decided I'm gonna grab this one here. I just really love the minifigs and it's like a nice little $30 build. I think we'll do self-checkout. It's like so gloomy out. It looks like it's gonna rain. But I asked Google and it said it wasn't. Yeah, so I got all this stuff here. It's like super windy. What is happening? <laughs> ah, safe in here. Eee! But yeah, that was honestly like, it was pretty easy. I got the stuff, nothing crazy. But y'all, there's actually something really exciting that happened that I forgot to mention earlier. So I post a lot on YouTube, you know, obviously you're here, but I also post on Instagram and TikTok and those links are like down in the description if you like want to check it out. But I just reached 100,000 followers on Instagram and I think that's really exciting. Like milestones are like, you know, I feel kind of cheesy celebrating them or whatever, but like that was really exciting. But not only that, y'all, on TikTok, I went from like 89,000 on TikTok up to like 200K in like 24 hours. And I don't really understand why, but I'm definitely excited about it. <laughs> All right, so I just got home. And look what I have here. I have a ladybird and I have a Stevie. And they're fighting actually over a T-Rex. <laughs> and yes, our Christmas tree still <laughs> is up, by the way. I'm so bored. I think it's time to actually build some more friend sets. I'm not even halfway through this one yet, so I think I'm gonna finish it up. Y'all, I really can't emphasize enough how not good I am when I'm alone. Like, I just get so bored. I don't know what to do. I just like get engulfed in TikTok and then the whole day is gone. Like it's 7 p.m. I didn't do anything today. <laughs> Actually, I think I changed my mind as to like what I want to build right now. I got this gift with purchase from Lego. So thank you so much, Lego Group. This is 40583. It's a new gift with purchase, Houses of the World. And it's based on like a Central American home. I think it looks awesome. There's like a little chihuahua in there. You can kind of see him. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. Also, don't judge me, but I've been watching Once Upon a Time again. So I just finished the build and this is so cute. Like it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but I knew it would be tiny, just maybe not this tiny. But the details along the sides are really cute. Like all the different flowers. I love the little awnings. Like I definitely want to incorporate that into builds that I'm doing in the future. And we got our little baby chihuahua. So that's cute. So I was starving. I went out and got some Popeyes. And while I was gone, something incredible was delivered. I just brought it in the house. It was just sitting outside and it's not this one here. This one's just a bridesmaid's dress, but underneath, is my most wanted set, you guys. I'm freaking out. Ross is gonna be so excited. I'm so happy it's here. Ah, let's go get this open. <laughs> Just gonna set the bridesmaid's dress aside for now. And I feel so bad, because I know I said I wasn't gonna spend any more money, right? I definitely said that in previous videos. But y'all, this was so worth it, and it was a really good deal. Like, seriously? hundreds below market value. I was shocked. And it was sent from a whatnot seller, thus just Amazon packaging. I'm sure you guys already know what it is. Ah, I'm so excited. I really never thought I would be able to own this set. Like this is surreal for me. Where is it? Ah, <laughs> ah my heart's like pounding right now. What? Can you see it? Christine. Oh, the tape is sealed. Good, good. I was expecting that, but oh my. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I own this. Oh, I'm like shaking. I've wanted this set ever since I knew it existed. Like a little Christmas X-Wing. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yes, this is the Lego Star Wars holiday x-wing i think it came out 2018 is that right 2019 so it came out 2019 and it's an employee exclusive right so like only employees and like select people were given the opportunity to even receive this set and i would say on the cheaper end of market value is around like 800 dollars for this one i've seen it upwards of like 1200 which i think is crazy like please don't spend that on this i feel like 800 700 is a good deal i got it less than that and i'm still shocked about it let's all just stare at it for a moment shall we like just take it in <sighs> okay now that that's out of the way we're calming down a little bit one of the major appeals about this set is the minifigure this was exclusive to the set and what's it actually called it's a yuletide squadron pilot so yeah it's like santa inspired obviously but yeah this only came in this set and i think the figure alone is worth 500 so 
that's crazy. <laughs> and then here is the back of the box. Uh, 20 years ago in a galaxy not so far away, the LEGO Star Wars story began. We marked this remarkable anniversary with a special festive edition of the iconic X-Wing fighter. Enjoy! I feel like I'm reading like a children's book. This is fun. So yeah, there's a ton of text over here. And then here is the X-Wing built. Now, I wish I had gotten this around December so it could have been like a highlight of my winter village. However, that didn't happen and that's okay. That is totally fine. We have it now, that's what matters. I really don't regret this purchase at all, especially for the price. And again, I know it might sound like I lied a little bit about saving money and like trying to cut back on Lego spending, but this was too good of a deal to pass up and I just had to. I really don't feel bad about it at all. I am thrilled. This has been a white whale set for me for years. Like it was such a white whale that I didn't even consider it a white whale because I didn't think it was even attainable. I think it's safe to say that this here is the highlight of my weekend. Like being alone sucks, but being alone with this is pretty cool. And Ross gets home tomorrow from his trip. So definitely stay tuned because we definitely need to see his reaction. It might get emotional. It already has. So Ross is back. Let me call him in here real quick. Ross? Look, if I don't see an orange mocha frappuccino on my desk tomorrow morning, you're fired. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Look what we got, Ross. We got the new X-Wing. Are you excited? It's beautiful. Do we have to open it? I think we do. I want to build it. That was my first Lego Star Wars set. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now you get the Christmas one. Are you going to build it with me? <laughs> I'm going to steal it from you. No, it's mine. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Bye! <laughs> Ross is just staring at the set. <laughs>